Uh, we have a question from Dord. Uh, he makes several times this question. He wants to know your opinion about the centralized system uh, on Bitcoin network, uh, requiring personal data for usage and thought of future of that. Yeah, I think the I think most of my talk was about this, but I'll focus just on the revealing personal data part of it. Because the revealing personal data is not simply a matter of a totalitarian financial surveillance system. It's also a market economy. We already have a system for micropayments on the internet. If you want to buy any content that effectively is priced less than five dollars, the price you pay is a micro violation of your privacy. That is the micropayment system we have on the internet. You give your data to be consumed, analyzed, statistically correlated, so that the messaging you receive is narrower and narrower and narrower, more and more conforming to the image of what Facebook thinks you want to hear, to what Amazon thinks you want to buy, etc. We pay micropayments through micro violations of privacy. Our private data is the price of entry into the microeconomy. And we can do much better than that, because as we develop micropayments on top of network-centric currencies, we can instead pay with currency, while retaining all of our privacy. Bitcoin doesn't require you to identify yourself. And that is not a bug. That is a feature. In fact, Bitcoin makes it very difficult to overlay identity on top of it, the way the blockchains the banks want to build are. Because that's not secure. When you concentrate personally identifiable information, you get hacked. We have not yet found a way to secure data. Nobody can secure data. Citibank can secure data. The large internet retailers can secure data. The NSA can't keep its data in-house. <laughs> the idea that some Bitcoin startup is going to start doing know your customer identification and anti-money laundering, collecting all the privately identifiable information, that is both ridiculous and disastrous, because what will happen is that information will leak, and you will lose your privacy once again. So, Bitcoin does not do identity, because that is part of the design. and It is actually a very powerful part of the design, because it is the foundation of us having privacy. Anonymity is just another word for human right.